Today's episode of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast is being brought to you by the Comic Pop Collectibles eBay store. Um, and they're exclusive. Pre-order now be, will, go, will be shipped out starting July 25th. Robotech number one variant, the Comic Pop Collectibles variant. I have Robotech number one. The colored is limited to 500 copies. The art is done by Douglas Frenchen. Um, and you also have a limited to 100 copies, black and white version variant. Once again, the artwork is by Douglas Frenchen. Um, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that right. Just go to www.ebay slash comic pop collectibles. You know, and you can buy the rarest, the most exclusive, the most awesome sauce Robotech number one variants in the market. And that one that's he's got limited to 100 copies will be the rarest Robotech variant in the whole wide world. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be epic, yo. Um, I am the mayor of Clown Town, blind out the comic pimp. Tell Lauren Becker, Comic Pop Collectibles, where you can buy your exclusive, most rare, most collectible, Robotech variant, limited to 500 copies, the regular edition, or a super rare, super limited, super awesome sauce, limited to 100 copies, variant of Robotech number one, art by Douglas Frenchin, or Frenchin, yeah, I think it's pronounced Frenchin or Frencher, something like that. Um, I won't make fun of the artists here yet, cause, uh, but please go to, put a Google search in, eBay store, comic pop collectibles, and, uh, tell, Bl- tell Lauren Becker, Blind Adam, the mayor of Clown Town, sent you, Blind Adam out, I love you, Lauren, thank you for sponsoring today's episode. You're on the air, show for the future! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit that, yo. Out of list, out of list. Uh, Mr. What's going on, guys? This Mr. is the brand new Samsung Galaxy S8. First thing we need to discuss is that display. The S8 Plus has a higher resolution. It is just... It's got such a high resolution! We can see the dimples on that girl's ass! Oh, my God! Water and dust resistant. Everything else like the Oh, my God! Oh, no! It's dust! Assistance. I can give a flying fuck. <laughs> We're back. Awesome. So- <laughs> now today we have on our main stage. So you're an entertainment pleasure. We got Bethany. We got Samantha. We have Jessica. We have Melissa. We have Renee. We have Cindy. Mary Lou. All going boo hoo hoo. Sucky sucky fucky fucky five dollar. You all night long. You're the worth of the scores. Where our girls work good the tips and tips alone. Cause it's awesome. So. For the right reasons. Come October! We'll have an escort service for all the right reasons. And maybe even DJ at the World Davis Scores. But now, shaking their ass through the All American Cash. Getting you cash play love. We have Sarah. We have Red Bethany. We have Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane Watson. Working the floor. Cost their whores. Yeah, yeah, Peter Parker 3, we Peter Bar- P- Parker 3, we heard the world Day scores. Die 36, West 28th Street, 10th and 11th Avenue, www.scoresny.com, the official Janice Club of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast, because we're going to test the die! We're going to learn today, my brothers and sisters! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Cause we got blonde girls, we got red girls, we got gingers, 
because Jesus is the master race. And they will, they will make you very happy and put K's in your face. Here at the World Game of Scores. www.scoresny.com. 536 West 28th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues. And you can email info at scores, scoresny.com. Throw all your info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 8 a.m. to 4 a.m. Seven nights a week. Up in this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Napoleon Truesdale, you can suck my dick. Jenna Finley, <laughs> I will remind you just who the fuck you're dealing with. Jessica Skinnell, how you doing? Everyone who's pissed me off in the last 25 years, how you doing? Gonna paint the town red and all the girls' faces white. Oh yeah! scene as we get into the start of a very long 4th of July holiday weekend slash week um you know uh just you know chilling have a few things we're gonna review uh I'd like to thank my good friend Lauren Becker of uh comic pop collectibles um who has some amazing variant covers of some awesome amazing and hot books for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Lauren, I want to thank you, man, for 18 years of friendship, 18 years of being my mentor. All the friendship, all the love, all the encouragement, all the support, all the advice. There would be, you call yourself the comic lord, I call myself the comic pimp. But there would be no comic pimp without the comic lord. And I love you, man. I hope when you're at NYCC, as this may be the only convention this year where we get to hang out, I can't wait to hear the popcorn machine story again. I can't wait to, uh, since I'm going to be going to Joseph Cullen Training Center starting August 14th, um, get to make you a batch of homemade sugar cookies because I know you with the sprinkles on them because I know you love those things. Um, and, uh, you know, to all my blind brothers and sisters, to all my disabled brothers and sisters, if you have a dream, I encourage you to chase that dream, because that dream, you may catch it. And I say put really, really good people around you, so when you when you start to fall, they'll help, they'll help you get back up, man. And that's what Lauren always does for me. I thank you for listening to me. I thank you for responding to every email I've ever sent. I thank you for indulging in every one of my wild, crazy ideas. And I thank you for being my best friend and my mentor. So, uh, everyone, whether it's his uh, Robotech variants that are coming out July 25th, really get your orders in for that. 
100 copy black and white version variant because that looks freaking sweet. Whoever hits his, his Spider Gwen number one variant. Um, I think that was done by Jenny Frinson. Um, Wonder Woman cover artist fame. Um, I got Google. Let me Google that. Whoever it's his Mike Allred, Harley Quinn Rebirth, Harley Quinn of Two Worlds variant. Uh... You know, his Boba Fett variant for the Star Wars number one that came out in 2015. His Matt Wagner variant. I mean, he's got cool variants, man. That, that Matt Wagner variant is pretty sweet, too. support and forgive me a sandbox to plan I did not realize that this was painted by Jenny Ferguson wow I have to see what is wholesale you know what? maybe I can I can I can buy a couple of these and do it as a giveaway on the podcast but if you want to buy them go to the eBay store comic pop collectibles wow man that's awesome we're gonna have to He's got a painted cover by Jenny Frison, who does all the Wonder Woman vari B variants. Including that beautiful one with her with the magic lasso with the bondage homage that came out this week for Wonder Woman 25. You know, Spider-Gwen, painted variant cover. Lauren, you the man. I love you, man. Now I'm going to play I'm gonna play a song. And I get myself a sip of water and get ready for the next segment. Is that how we roll? I also want to say, I'd like to give a shout out to Thomas Jaron, aka TJ Money, to John Hollywood Cars, Captain Batmobile, because I don't remember his last name. But if you're at Eternal Con in Long Island, New York, at the NASA Coliseum, July 1st, July 2nd, where you can meet Wee Merriweather, the Batman 1966 movie's Catwoman, uh, Helen Slater, the original Supergirl, and uh, Kara's mom on the Supergirl CW show. Um, you know, uh, you know that's this weekend at the NASA Coliseum. Now, I, because, Tommy Jerry, when I say text me back the booth number, you should text me back the booth number, you clown shoe motherfucker. Love you, buddy. All in good fun, all in good fun. But, uh, just find where the 1966 Batmobile, 1989 Batmobile, the Burt Ward driven sidecar from the Batman 1966 TV show. Adam Re Adam West, please rest in peace. Um, you know, bunch of wrestlers, bunch of comic book personalities. Uh, hopefully I'll get the, with uh, I'll get to make it there this weekend. But everyone stop by the Hollywood Cars thing. I don't know that's what they're officially going by. Uh, but just look for the 1966 Batmobile, 1989 Batmobile, the Batman. Dark Knight trilogy from, you know, Nolan and Christian Bale. Batman series Tumblr. The Burt Ward sidecar. Um, it's going to be awesome. It'll be amazing. Get your picture taken. Um, you know. Next time, Johnny, call the comic pimp. Because if I can get you some girly girls and you can have some cat womans and some bat girls. And they can give back massages while they get their pictures taken with a Batmobile. Call your boy the comic pimp. You 
got two top J. Cause we got telephones, we got emails, we got texts. You can get me 24-7 even. But go to TurtleCon, have a good time. Tell them all blood out of Satan. And speaking of conventions. Mainline Hollywood BS Hot Girl with Girl Boots. You know, July 8th and 9th is around the corner. And I've been talking about this for weeks. Um, and I cannot wait. I am very jacked. I'm pumped. Cannot wait to meet and interview Dean Cain, the 1990s Superman. Get to meet Lauren Lester, the voice of Nightwing slash Robin from Batman, the animated series. To get to, for the second time in two years, get to do me a one question interview with the old school 1990s CBS Flash, Henry Allen, Jay Derrick, Dawson's dad from Dawson's Creek, Teen Wolf's dad, John Leslie Ship, one of the greatest Hollywood dads of all motherfucking time. Cast player Anne Marie, cosplay contest, comic books, action figures, www.gardenstatecomicfest.com, Mana Marina, Morristown, New Jersey, July 8th, July 9th, gonna be walking the floor and doing so much more, cause that's how we roll up in this bitch! Testify! Testify! Cosplay video Gotham Sirens, Catwoman, Poison Eye, Gotham City Sirens, Milk and Cookies Link, Heading Left, Ladies of Rap, Forest BT Shade FD. Daniel Soybel and Mike Nelson, Link, Link, Michelle Glavan, Verita, Gotham City Sirens, Purple Gum Bitch, Link, Head, Link, Let's Go. Ladies of Rap, Vampire Girlfriends, FD, Gotham Sirens, Pat Romance, Link, Heading, Link, YJ Wonder Girl, List with Two Out of List, Soup, Harlick Wins, Dot Moves, Pat Romance, The Bit DC Girls, Link, Heading, And because we want it, out of list, out how did I find it like yesterday, the other day? I think we touch just type in Harlequin Battle Rap, yeah? Blank. D. Blah, blah, blank. A A R Y A Q U I N N space B A D E space R A B B. Harley lives about a mainland. Harley Quinn sing along the S Hat Girl rap rap dot dot love battles. Hot Joker and Harley Quinn ladies of rap. Gotham Sirens F D. Madoita Olga Kett Link Michelle Glam and Merit heading level three Link ladies of rap. Here we go. Check this out. Gotham City's battle rap. Wow, it's another ad! Wish we could do it South Park so fuck it to death. Now this I can fat too. This may not be it. Yeah, it, 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 here it is. Harley Quinn to the main stage for one three. Harley Quinn to the main stage of one three. For your cosplay strip keys at the world famous Office of Sauce
City Sirens rap? And the reason I played that um, is because we're in the time period of the summertime. You know, barbecues, beach time, frisbees on the beach, sex on the beach, the drink, as well as the actual activity. Um, you know, just don't get caught if you're going to have sex on the beach. But it's awesome. It's amazing. But we can't to wait till October. Like October 9th, Supergirl Season 3. Um, October 10th is Super... I mean, The Flash Season 4. Um, you know, October 10th is also Legends of Tomorrow Season 3. So I was looking some, some, for some stuff to watch, some stuff to review. And I discovered, you know... The WB Network, before it was the CW, um, 2002, The Lahap Action Birds of Prey, starring Ashley Scott as the Huntress, Ray's, Rachel Scarsdale as the Black Canary, Maya Sarah as the first live action Harley Quinn. They had another actress they did for the pilot, but they, when they reshot the pilot, they put in Maya Sarah. Mia Sarah, and she was pretty good in the part. Um, you know, I forget who played fucking Barbara Gordon, but I, I could, I think I'll just Google that for a minute. Um, you know, and I, I really, I mean, for 2002. <laughs> Harley Quinn Battle Rap YouTube Internet Explorer, Harley Quinn Google Document. You know, uh, and, but for comic books, superhero television was back in 2002. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh no. We type it into the computer. We'll get that in a second. You know, could be add some cool stuff in the show. Hang on. of the Joker for the pilot episode which does a little mini live action version of the Alan Moore, Brian Bond's classic Killing Joke which is anima animated last year. Um, you know. Uh, so that, that's awesome. That's amazing. And uh, you know it was sweet. It also plays very much on, you know, the Earth 2 continuity of the daughter of Batwoman who's left because of the, what the Joker crippling Barbara Gordon. 
main lap birth of gray TV zero HD birth of this she was taken in my harbor report birth of gray TV zero is two images for the joker live action voiced by DC Harley Quinn and birth of gray double photo of you harbor report and sometimes as oracle sometimes as bad girl and huntress Barbara Gordon, birth of Grey DC live action universe with Dekla. Barbara Gordon was one of the partner Batman. She fought at his son Batgirl live action. Google searched the Bat family live and aged Barbara Gordon from setwood.org. I searched for this on Bing.com heading level 3 link. Dia Mayer as Barbara Gordon in the... Uh, Dia Mayer played Barbara Gordon in this show. Sometimes she acted like that well, as my as I was, you know, doing the, my, 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 my jaw skills that I'm learning at the Joseph Cohen Training Center. Dom Chris O'Neill and John uh, ch -ch Dirtle. Thank you. You guys are teaching me how to be like Oracle with my computer skills, with the jaws. And I cannot wait through August 13th where I'm going to become Batman or Green Arrow. I'm going to be trained. I'm going to kick ass and take names, pin poor and gain fame. But yeah, Dita, man, she was, she was really decent in the role. I mean, she was a school teacher in this. After the events of getting getting crippled, um, by uh, you know uh, the Joker, who is voiced by Mark Hamill, um, you know, but it's basically the Huntress, played by Ashley Scott, is the daughter of Batman and Catwoman, uh, who just got engaged in or Batman popped the question of Batman number twenty four rebirth, um. And it looks like we're not going to get to the get to her response, I guess, at the end of this uh, war of uh, jokes and riddles where part two, Batman issue 26, with a really, really sexy Josh Middleton Poison Ivy cover, um, you know, comes out next week. Um, you know, we will have copies here of that variant here for sale. It also sells comics, you know, and you can... If you want a copy for ten dollars, you can uh, just uh, you know email comicpimpvip at gmail .com and we got your hookup for that variant. Um, you know, but yeah, uh, I mean, you had you know Harley Quinn being the ba the main big bad. But I love about this, you know, you fucking had a side of Harley Quinn played beautifully by Maya Sarah. Um, you never really see her as a psychiatrist, and that's what you get in this live action Birds of Prey. You know, uh,. You know, you always get her as the psychotic sidekick of the Joker. You always get her as, the, you know, and uh, as the the psychopath, the lunatic, the lunatic fringe, the mentally unhinged, the mentally unstable, you know, adventurer slash criminal slash antihero. You rarely see her as a psychiatrist, and that's what I really, because, you know, Ashley Scott's, um, you know, Huntress is... Has anger management. She's going to psychiatry. The show is just a fun who. I mean, there's certain things like the episode 11. Or episode 10, which is Gladiax. Which is basically the, you know, Huntress and Black Canary. Are basically in a fight club fighting each other. Um, it's just an awesome cat fight scene, cat fight episode of who can kick each other's ass. I mean, Black Rachel Scarcell does great as Dinah Lance, the Black Canary. Um, granted, it's a, like she was in the comic, she doesn't use the fucking Canary Cry at all, which I don't understand. They gave her telekinesis and telepathy. What the fuck? Um, Gibson, Gibson Kaka is fucking amazing. I love them. I love the little meta-human bar called No Man's Land. Easter egg to a very classic Batman story for after the earthquake. You know, which I can't believe is like now a 16-year-old story. Almost a set... Almost a 20-year-old storyline in, in another year. In another two years. Um... 
you know. But this is when comic book TV was in its infancy. I don't see what the big deal was. I mean, does everyone remember how mistakenly fucking boring the the, the Linda Carter Wonder Woman show is? Watch an episode sober. It's got some good stuff in it, but it's a boring fucking show. Yeah, the Jack Wagner, or, or Wyman Wagner, play a decent fucking Steve Trevor? Yeah, but he can't own a fucking candle to fucking Christopher Pine and shit in the current movie. And is Linda Carter sexy by 1977 standards? Testify? Yeah. Watch her do that spinny spin with her biggie big big tits. It's awesome. It's amazing. It shaped my childhood even. See if we can get, see if we can find a trailer or a clip. But this show, it was panned. It was canceled after 13 episodes, which are now on classic DVD. Um, you know, for some reason. Uh, I mean, because I used to have a classic, um, you know, bootleg before it was re released officially, which I picked up at the comic book convention. I think I picked up, I picked it up at one of Mike Carbonero's fucking uh, Big Apples. You know, uh, but you know, hey, that's how that rolls. You know, uh. So if you guys bet the official release, there's going to be some changed music. Amy Allen's Start of Revolution was the opening theme song. I think Warner Brothers no longer has the rights to the music. Um, and Devil's Eye was, was just the final episode. Where they even gave fucking Harley Quinn metahuman powers of being able to, you know, uh, control people and hypnotize people and they're doing anything she wants. Which was done to the show. I wouldn't want to see it in the comics. Um, you know, maybe for an issue or two where it's like a dream sequence. Uh, you know, the Voices in Your Head was the song done in the, the really, really sweet, um, you know, fight scene between, uh, Oracle slash Batgirl and Harley Quinn. Just a great show. Mainland Earth operating the intro link heading left Earth operating the 2002 mythical legend promo link heading level 3. That just works. Out of this, out of this, we don't care about the atmosphere. There's something going on in the city after the sun goes down. Now, the city of the new legend is about to get three. And the gift from the dead kids, Matt. You hear the same stories I do. The things we can't begin to explain. Freaks. Weirdos. Urban myths. Freaks! Commissioner Gordon relationship for the show is done through Officer Lieutenant Jesse Reese um, and Helena Kyle Wayne who first appeared in DC Super Special number 17 the, the marriage of Earth to Batman and Catwoman of course is Brave and the Bold 197 um, you know, the Earth 2 Batwoman classically dies in Adventure Comics 462, which is such a tough book to find in high grade. Um, you know, there is a third print of Batman 24, the engagement issue coming out next week, which you can buy uh, here at Awesome Sauce Comics for five bucks. Comic Pimp VIP at Gmail, 201-675-2104. Um, we will have a Catwoman cosplay guest host coming up in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, you know, but I, I don't see a problem with the show. And, as I take a sip of water, 
So I'm about to take an energy shot in a couple seconds. Um, for my never good sponsor and good friend of the show. You know how much. Stop mocking me! Fuck you, Stewie Griffin. Um. Yeah, but the show was awesome. It was amazing. It was fun. It kept me entertained and company for a couple hours at a night when I couldn't fall asleep. <clears throat> you know, uh, and that's all I ask sometimes out of these shows. Nothing's ever going to be a perfect adaptation, adaptation of the comics. For every Walking Dead, for every Flash, you get a 1998 David Hasselhoff, Nick Fury. You get a Generation X telefilm. You get so much bullshit. You get a cat, a hell berry fucking Catwoman. And yes, she's an Eternal Con. She's awesome. She's amazing. She was the first ever live action Supergirl. Helen Slater. You get that piece of shit movie. It wasn't great. It doesn't hold up. Trust me. No. I don't want to tell her that. Tell her that when I'm interviewing her. Maybe I do. Who knows? Oh, uh, but still, she has nice big titties. She's awesome. If I do make it to Eternal Con, I will buy a picture. Because that's how I roll. You know, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs that way, yo. Ah. Uh, but can we... Can we appreciate not player hate? Please? I'm just sick of how no one gets along about nothing no more. Don't know what's wrong. May not work on play TV and trolling. But I'm gonna play! Out of this time. So... I forget the... I forget the porn star's name. Search edit. Blank. Blank, blank. But Robert Black, Sinister's Comics, did a beautiful and amazing... Live action Birds of Prey porn parody. Oh, it's Katie Summers. But I had a brain fart for a second. Um, you know she, I believe, played Black Canary. In the Birds of Prey XXX done by Sinister Comics by Robert Black. But I think you can still buy copies of it online from him. I gotta email them about that. Out of list, out of list, compliment. Hi, I'm Katie Summers here on the set of Birds of Prey Triple X from Sinister Comics. Fly like Canary and make sure you buy the DVD today at adultdvdempire.com. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Katie Summers, she played such a beautiful Black Canary in Sinister Comics, Birds of Prey XXX. You know, Birds of Prey, of course, Dino Lance, the Silver Age Black Canary first appeared in Justice League of America number 75. Um... And you do got Katie Cassidy coming back as the Black Siren, and she will be a season six regular on this season of Arrow, starting Thursday, 9 p.m., October 13th, on the CW, you know, and it's a hot book. It's a tough book to find in any grade, you know. Just amazing, just awesome. Of course, the Birds of Prey as a group premiered in Showcase 93, number 3. Um, Barbara Gordon first appears in Oracle in Suicide Squad number 23. It is revealed to be Barbara Gordon in Suicide Squad number... Suicide... Su uh, suicide Squad. Three fucking syllables. Suicide Squad. Three fucking syllables. 38. Um, issues number 48 and 40... What was 48 and 49? Um, give you a... Uh, 
Killing Joke recap. And of course, there's at least 12, maybe 13 prints of Killing Joke where Barbara Gordon gets crippled. Um, of course, the first post-crisis Huntress is Huntress number one. Helena Bertinelli. Um, you know, I'm not going to explain. Take some, you know, Google fucking Crisis at Infinite Earths. Where all the multi-Earths merge together for a time. I'm going to see if I can maybe perhaps interview Robert Black as well as Katie Summers for the show. Main lap birth of prey trailer link heading. CW birth birth of prey series intro link. XXX. Return of time to cage link heading. Unofficial birth of prey trailer link heading. XXX. The return of time to cage XXX. The return of time birth of prey DCUT the trailer. Birth of prey TV to our birth of. You motherfuckers. Open dialogue type dot 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 dot. Selection one of you. Tube dot com. Birth of prey. I just want to say that one of my books of the week was. Batman Elmer Fudd, number one. It was awesome. It was amazing. It was just epic. I mean... X. You know, I wasn't expecting much out of it, but I liked how it gave us a Fables kind of vibe, and you brought the Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, um, it, it, if you can deal with the Elmo speak, Wabbits, for an entire comic book, more power to you, because that, that's, that's my only, that, I like the fact that Bugs Bunny was killed, you know, Silver St. Cloud. Um, I like the fact that Porky Pig ran a bar for all the Looney Tunes type characters. You know, I like the fact that you, you know, you saw some really cool fights between Elmer Fudd and Batman, and then they team up to go to go beat the sh ever loving shit out of Bugs Bunny. I mean, between this was probably the best one that they put out. I did not read the Wonder Woman Taz Manian Devil one yet. Main lap apex bird of prey xxx link heading left Katie Summers for birth of prey xxx link heading Katie Summers height sinister bbbccc long range video at king parrot xxx new cartoons link head joker paralyzes shoots smarter at order part time the killing joke link head birth of prey tv intro link my bird of prey surprise link king killer birth xxx out of you know what main lap apex bird of prey xxx link heading link mat dot taurus out Katie Summers for birth of prey xxx is awesome. List out of list complimentary landmark video zero seek sign. Hi, Dave Summers here, your black canary. Birds of prey, xxx.com. Forming you that you need to get Sinister X Syndicate's very first release, Birds of Prey, xxx. Testify! She is smoking hot! The writer to the Big Apple. Get ourselves a black and airy costume. Is I pondering itself and pig your brain take over the world style? Yeah, man. God, we're gonna try to get an interview with Katie Summers. The lady who portrayed Black Canary in the Triple X porn parody, produced by Sinister Comics and Robert Black. Testify! Um, uh, but these Warner Bros.
cover. These Looney Tunes, DC Comics crossovers. The Legion of Superheroes Bugs Bunny one was fun. Um, you know, basically, um, uh, you know, the Legion of Doom and Bugs Bunny teaming up. Kind of weird, but kind of fun. Uh, the Martian, the Manhunter, Martian, the Marvin was decent. I mean, the Legion of the Superheroes Bugs Bunny one is probably the one I'd least recommend. Um, you know, if you find it somewhere at a convention, in a, in a bargain bin, or local comic book shop, 1888 comic book for any comic book store in your area, um, comic book shop locator, just 1-800-COMIC, 1-888-COMIC-BOOK, type in your zip code, you get three shops in your area, testify! And you can always, um, go to the Comic Pop Collectibles eBay store, I'm sure they may have these. I know he, he was saying that he ordered way too many Batman Elmer Fuds. <clears throat> you know, uh, but they're fun! You know, uh, the Elmer, the Lobo, Road, Road Water, you know, where you basically have Wile E. Coyote go on one of Lobo's bounty hunts, and he has Lobo, um, basically, you know, be a bounty hunter to try to kill the Roadrunner. It's my favorite out of all of them, followed by Batman Elmer Fudd. Because it's Batman Elmer Fudd. I still have to peep the Wonder Woman, uh, you know... The Wonder Woman, uh, Tasmanian Devil one, which I think I'll do later on tonight. Uh, Birds of Prey, live action on, get, get the DVD. I mean, just for the pilot that they basically do a, a little miniature live action Batman the Killing Joke. Uh, with Mark Hamill doing the voice of the Joker, which is always a treat. And as an extra, on the DVD extras, you got the Gotham Girls webisodes. Every episode is on there. May not be expert on Greg. Katie Summers for Katie Summers Hype. Sinister Comet. BBBCCC Long Range. King Parrot XXX. New Cartoons Link. Joker Paradises Shoots. Up Birth on Prey TV Intro. My Birth on Prey Surprise Link. King Killer Birth XXX Link. Head Birth XPD Hammer. CCC Long Range. CCC Long Range. Path Cam Slash Hollow. C Long Range Mid XXX. C Birth on Prey in Bucks County Link. Head Loomy 002. List with three Unfishers Love Birth XXX Rated Link. Out of list, out of list, search edit. And I'm, I'm you have to get distracted for a minute because I got Katie Summers in a Black Canary costume with an idea I have. Blank, blank. And I think I'm going to have to get me and Adrian going to have to have a business meeting. Yeah, Adrian, how you doing? Blank, blank, See blank. you next week, brother. Blank. blank. Trailer link heading C W Bird Bird on Prey series intro link XXX Return on Thunder Cage unofficial Bird on Prey trailer link heading XXX The Return on Thunder Mother Out of list out of list right. up next Gotham. There's a really cool Birds of Prey Triple X poor parody shower not because I want to show it I can't find it Now I'll have it by the next step Search edit Bird on Prey XX Blank 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 R Blank, blank, blank. A, C, C, X, E, L, S, A, B, R, O, N, E, space, X, 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 A, D, R, I, R, F, E, R, space, Axel Bro, X, X, X. See, we can find something from our boy Axel Braun, the king of the porn parodies. You know, um. Main lap, Batman, B, Superman, X, X, X. Supergirl XXX, Iron Man XXX, Born Parody SF, Cinderella XXX, and Wicked Pictures Brit Scream XXX, Peter Pan XX, Avengers VSX, Men XXX. Holy shit! That's fucking awesome! He, he, Axel Braun did an X-Men vs. Avengers porn parody. That's awesome!
some sauce. Yeah. I'm going to play that trailer in a minute. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, Detective Comics 959 came out this week. Another great comic. This is a great time to be a fan of comics. And be a fan of comic books, sci-fi, action, adventure, movies, porn, strippers, cosplay, eternal comics this weekend. And, hey, Tommy J, hey, Johnny, Hollywood Cars. For example, you can go to the NASA Coliseum this weekend, July 1st and 2nd. And you can dress up in any comic book costume you want, hang out, you can get your picture taken and meet legendary actress, legendary Miss America, back in the 1960s, uh, star of the Batman television show, Star Trek, the Batman 1966 movie, good friend of the podcast, good friend, one of my mentors, Lee Merriweather. And you get a picture taken with her and the original and 1966 Batmobile, 1966 Bat Cycle. Get your picture taken by a um, good friend of the show, one of my best, my, one of my, my hetero life man, Tommy J from Around the Way. Another great friend, another great sponsor of this podcast, Johnny. Jo Car Hollywood Car Johnny. Gonna get old, gotta talk to him about a couple things for the near future. Um, and you can meet he Helen Slater. And you can hang out with cosplayers and buy comic books and sell comic books. And get sketches and make friends and be part of the greatest, most wonderful family. You can be part of the comic book and pop culture industry, which has given me a family and a home and a place to belong for 30 years now, and I'm very proud of it. I love you guys. This ain't the expendable sex button. More to list with out of list link idle hands log heading level three link Avengers the SX. Now we're gonna check this trailer out real quick. Out of list, out of list, complimentary landmark video. The onslaught event costs us most of our heavy hitters. I'm going back to Russia. We need you. Now more than ever, the X-Men need you. There are no more X-Men. It's the end of an era. I can't believe it's over. The X-Men will go on, Kitty. How do you know that? I know that because Charles Xavier would have wanted it. I understand what you've lost. We understand what Hawkeye meant to you. She needs time for it. We all do. Call it what you want, but the Avengers matter. You have no right to talk to you like that. I'm a big girl, Steve. I can stand up for myself. Women do that now. I can't believe there is a superhero bar. Yeah, I decided to get one back in the days when I hung up my cape. You mean that ridiculous polyester yellow suit you were wearing this morning used to have a cape? What the doctor is explaining is that none of our lost friends are dead. I believe they've shifted, transported to a different plane of existence. We really must find a new psychic as soon as possible. I'm looking for Daredevil. If you all cooperate, nobody will get hurt. Charles believed mutant and human could coexist. I plan to keep that dream alive. Interesting negotiation technique. Magneto's going to be taking Xavier's spot. Then the Avengers are going to go to war with the X-Men. <laughs> I'm about three seconds to alter the course of your life. Kill him. That tickles. Kicking ass makes me incredibly horny. Up next time.
want some sauce. Yep. And just remember, today's episode of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast was brought to you by Comic Pop Collectibles. You can go to eBay slash Comic Pop Collectibles. And you can order your Robotech number one exclusive Comic Pop collectible variants. The regular colored version of the variant with the art by Douglas Frenchen is limited to 500 copies. You can get that for $10. Or, for 40 bucks, you can get the super limited, super awesome souls, uh, black and white version variant limited to 100 copies. It's the rarest Robotech variant on the market. Um, you know, it's exclusive only to comic pop collectibles. Tell Lauren Becker, the master of the Beckerman, that blind Adam the comic pimp, the mentally undeveloped party host with the most, of the Awesome Sauce Comics podcast, sent you. Um, you can also get his Jenny Frenson painted cover to Spider Girl number one. Which, I, gotta, I didn't even know he had those out. Um, must have been asleep at the wheel and shit. But, Lauren, thank you for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Awesome souls! I love you. I thank you. I want you to all have a very happy, very safe um, 4th of July. If you're going to drink, and, if you're gonna drink, please don't drink and drive. Use Uber. Use Lyft. Call a cab. Um... You know, get shit face drunk, but don't drive. Those are the rules of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. If I find out that anyone in the Awesome Sauce family is making a driving, I will come and deliver a pimp and a doom on your candy ass. Oh, yeah, I will. You know, if you don't have any plans, you should go to the official Gentleman's Club of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. Um, That would be scoresny.com. If you're not doing anything... The 1st or the 2nd of July, you can go to Eternal Con at the NASA Coliseum and get your picture taken by Tommy J with the 1966 Batmobile, 1989 Batmobile, the Tumblr from Batman Begins, the Burt Ward sidecar. You can get a picture taken with Lee Mary Weber with the Batmobile. Oh, you know, I, I hopefully I can see you guys this weekend so I can get a picture taken with Lee and do an interview for the podcast. And Helen Slater, the original live-action Supergirl. Um, you know, if not, I'm going to be chilling a little bit this weekend, enjoying my 4th of July, having some, uh, you know, magical brownies and some Mike's Hard Lemonade. Going to be cooking a chicken parm dinner for my pops. Um, love you, Dad. Stephen P. Sinelli in the his house. Um, going to be maybe hang out with him, fly some drones, go see some shitty Transformers movies. Don't know. Uh, but always keep one foot in the gutter, one fist in the goal, too high to handle, too cold to, too cold to hold. I love you all. I thank you for helping me live this dream. Please support Comic Pop Collectibles. Um, eBay slash ComicPopCollectibles.com and his Robotech number one variants. I love you. I thank you for being in my life. You guys are the greatest blessing in my life. Blind out of mouth. Fifty-nine, fifty-nine minutes, seventeen seconds. Viewfinder, stop recording video.